Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Columbia Natural Process Geisha lot number 428 from La Palma EL Toucan. This is a really tasty natural process Columbia from La Palma EL Toucan. It acts kind of like an Ethiopian coffee. If you brew it in the V60, the same recipe, it's gonna be really delicate and tea-like, and it's going to act like a really, um, really floral, really complex natural Ethiopian coffee. I really enjoyed it in the Kalita Wave 185. It gives it more body, more sweetness, and in my opinion, makes it a little bit more special of a cup, um, really um, elevates this coffee. This natural process geisha, we're going to be using 16 grams of coffee, ground medium fine. I ground this exactly like I would grind for a traditionally sized Kalita Wave. This was 12 on the Baratza Encore, this will be one on the fellow Ode, and this was 22 clicks on the Commandante C40. Um, we're using 16 grams of coffee. We're gonna be brewing with 250 grams of water set to 206 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's get brewing. First thing, I'm going to pre-wet my filter and rinse, uh, or preheat my brewer and rinse this filter. I let it fill up about halfway, and then I rinse the edges all those paper fibers out. Now I'm going to use this preheat water to preheat my serving glass. Let's dose our coffee. Shake that bed flat. Let's turn on our gram scale. I've got my timer ready, stopwatch ready to go. All right, let's get brewing. There's gonna be four separate pours, a bloom and three more pours. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bloom 30 grams. Just wet all that coffee. There we go. And I'm gonna let this rest for 20 seconds. At 20 seconds, I'm gonna pour heavy in the middle up to 100 grams. It's gonna raise our water level, increase our flow rate. Help us get this really bright acidity. There's complex acidity, that's gonna get a lot of it out. At 40 seconds, I'm gonna to pour to 175. And then at one minute, I'm gonna finish it off at 250 grams total. If your grind is too coarse, this drains too fast, and we're not able to reach this three-quarter full mark on our brewer, this coffee is going to be a little bit tart. It's still gonna be pretty sweet, but we're gonna lose that complexity, and instead of this nice florality, it's going to become bitter and uh, a little astringent, kind of like black tea. If we grind too fine and this brew takes far too long, then it's going to taste like bitter cocoa that covers up all of this. It's gonna have a nice sweetness, but that bitterness there in the finish, that dryingness in the finish is not gonna be super pleasant. Uh, but if we drain in our target time, which is about two minutes, two minutes and 10 seconds, then we're gonna get really nice flavor. We're gonna get sweet and bright plum. We're gonna taste melon, this really delicate flavor. We'll get jasmine. And we're gonna get sweet honey that lasts throughout the cup. Final drips. Be sure to dump that preheat water. Serve. And enjoy.